Okay, I'm going to show you how to change a liquid metal ion source on an XL830. And we can see here that this ion source had a pretty good lifetime of 5400 microamp hours. So it's time to change it out. And what we've done is we've turned off the source on the ion column. And we've turned off the high voltage on both. And turned off the high tension button. And it's also really important to make sure the ion IGP is off. It's off right here, we already turned it off. And if you go through this procedure and this is still on, you're gonna be pumping on atmosphere and it'll be really bad for the IGP. So it's very important to make sure that that's turned off. And once all these are turned off, <coughs> we'll go ahead and run, if it's not running already, 16 serve. I'll throw an error because ours is already running. And then you can turn and run eye control and this window will pop up and what you'll look for here is in settings you'll go to the GIS page and there's a button here called bypass and that'll open up the bypass valve on the ion column so when we vent the chamber it vents the ion column as well. And we've already done this so it won't do anything but you go ahead and click that and then now that all that's done you can go ahead and vent the chamber and now when the chamber vents, the ion column will also vent. And which we've already done, because that takes a while. So what we did there with the software is we controlled this bypass valve to stay open while the, the chamber was venting. And this is the column isolation valve, by the way. So this is now open, allowing this to get vented along with the rest of the chamber. And we can verify that by going down here and making sure that this crack is formed here between the top and the bottom of the sump and we can go ahead and lower it a little bit just to verify that we do have atmosphere in the chamber so we don't need to leave this down but we'll just make sure that this actually is vented because one of the bad things that we could have happen is pull atmosphere through the ion column as we open it up and we don't want to do that and this is the ion getter pump that's attached to the ion column and this should be off. If you did it wrong earlier this will start getting really really hot and so it's a good thing to check. So what we can do now is this was already done add a little bit of tape to each one of these four black knobs and that'll just give us an indicator that we've come back to our original position later when we align the LMIS. So this is just a little visual aid to get us back roughly to our original position that we're at right now. So what we can do is take an Allen wrench and unscrew these four bolts. We only have two here because you don't really need four, but you might have four. And go ahead and unscrew these. And once you remove this high tension cap, you're going to want to lay it somewhere clean. So we've got some aluminum foil that you'll see in a second. And we're going to be able to, we're going to disengage this high tension cap from the rubber plugs that are in there. So it takes a little bit of force, but you can feel it wiggle off. Don't be scared. Pull this straight off. And you can see inside. Can I look in there? These are the high voltage, high tension plugs. And that's what we're disengaging out of this source end here. So we want to lay this somewhere clean. We have a little bit of aluminum foil here. And before we get to the next stage, we'll go ahead and unscrew each one of these four knobs one whole revolution. And these are the positioning knobs for the LMIS. And we want to make sure we're not grabbing on as we try to take it off. So those have all been unscrewed one revolution. And now we'll take a 12-point half-inch wrench to unscrew these four bolts right here. So there is a little bit of spring pushback that will keep pushing the source end out toward you. We'll get, slide this right out and there's a guide pin 
it'll keep you from twisting it too much but again pull it straight out as, as much as you can. So I'm going to cover cover this up with tin foil.